Well, this week we're going to be talking about white Christmases in the weather blog, something that many of us want when we wake up on Christmas morning. I certainly do. Well, let's head off now. Let's do something that I traditionally do every year. What would that be? Let's see. Well, that was a quick change of clothes. Well, just before we do that, let's answer the question, what exactly is a white Christmas? Well, you may think it's scenes like these ones here behind me, but in actual fact, all that is required is one single flake of snow to fall from the sky during the 24 hours of Christmas Day. Now, perhaps there is a heavy rain shower on Christmas Day, which turns a little bit sleety. Well, that defines a white Christmas. So it doesn't have to be these sort of Dickensian scenes to be a white one. So why was I just down at Glasgow Cathedral? Well, it's because this year some of the bookies are using that as their observation point. So if a single flake of snow falls on the roof there, it is defined as a white Christmas for Glasgow. I wonder who's going to be watching out for that and whether it may interrupt Christmas mass. And for Aberdeen, some of the bookies are using Pitodry Stadium as their observation point throughout Christmas Day. Well, let's now have a look at some of the past white Christmases. Let's start off in the south of Scotland, where there have been five since 1980 in Glasgow with the last one there in 2004 I can very clearly remember that when a perfect white Christmas when the snow started falling in the morning and snowed throughout much of the day quite deep by the end of the afternoon. Now further north in Aberdeen there has also been five white Christmases since 1980 and again the last one being in 2004 then if we head even further north we're closer to Santa himself in Lerwick. There have been an astonishing nine in the last 26 years. Obviously, I perhaps have to pack my winter bags and head off up to Shetland. But for now, let's head off to the bookies. Well, that's us talked about past white Christmases, but what about this one? Why don't we head off in here and have a little flutter, a flurry, a blizzard? Let's see what the odds are. So here we are, finally down at the desk. And Dorothy has got the odds on a white Christmas for us. Let's see. Dorothy, what are the odds in Aberdeen? Um, 100 to 30. Sorry? For Christmas, snow on Christmas Day, oh, 100 right. to 30. And then, uh, what are the odds for Glasgow then? Uh, on Christmas Day, 72. 72, right. Mm, what should we do? Let's put a five on both. Have you got £10, Michael? <laughs> see, I would never use my own money for this, obviously, because it's too much, too risky. Can I put £5 on both yes, then, Dorothy? You can. There we are. That's great, thank, thank you very you. much Bye -bye. then. Well, your guess is as good as mine whether it's going to be a white Christmas, but I know someone that might be able to help us out. Let's go and see. So here we are, George Square, Glasgow and it's Winterfest. And you remember I was talking just a second ago about the man that might be able to help us out? Well, he's staying over there for just now. He usually lives a lot further north where it's much, much colder. Mind you, it actually is quite cold today. I wish I brought my jacket out. But he's in there, he's red. That should be able to give you a wee clue. He's quite well, he's not red, but he wears red stuff and white stuff as well. How does that look? Grey hair? Do you get the idea yet? I think my ears are a bit too big for these kind of hats. What about this? An additional clue for you. Very, very stylish hat, I've been told. Surely you know by now. Well, here we are inside. Thank goodness it's a bit warmer. I think you should take the hat off. Yeah, I think we should maybe do it out of respect. Should we go in and see the man? Um, well, I was just coming in because I've got a list of things that I, I would really like for Christmas and I think have been quite good this year. Um, cameraman, the cameraman here, he's not been very good at all. I don't think you should take anything to his house. <laughs> oh, definitely a lump of cold. <laughs> oh, well, I would like um, a wee. Um, uh, some games for the Wii, um, maybe a new mobile phone, a nice car would be good as well and I'm finding it really difficult to get onto the property ladder at the moment so maybe a house as well would be good. Um, do you think that's too much or? Well, you'd have to be extra special again. The main thing of course I suppose was that we came down to see whether maybe you could give us a white Christmas, what do you think? Could you? Well, that sounds pretty good, so let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that Santa can bring us a white Christmas. Shall we head back to the studio now? Let's go. Thank you for, for your time, Santa, and I'll hopefully... Yes, thank you very much, and I'll look forward to my house as well. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.